हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक मल्टी बैगर स्टॉक इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस नारायण हेल्थ हॉस्पिटल आई एम डॉक्टर भरत चंद्रा पर्पज ऑफ द वीडियो इज फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन ऑफ सोसायटी दिस इज अ केस स्टडी ऑफ ऑल ऑफ कंपनी फ्रॉम कर्नाटका विच हेज ग्रोन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स फ्रॉम स्मॉल बिगिनिंग दिस हॉस्पिटल कंपनी हेज बिकम ह्यूज विद मोर देन सिक्स थाउजेंड बेड्स अक्रॉस एटीन हॉस्पिटल the intention of making such fundamental analysis videos is to make you aware of different companies for you to learn and research further and the company is narayana health and the journey dr devi prasad shetty founded narayana hrudayala in the year 2000 in bangalore it was a 280 bed hospital dr devi shetty is a cardiac surgeon with experience in india and abroad Dr Devi Shetty had served as Mother Teresa's personal physician for the last 5 years of her life when he was working in Kolkata in BM Birla Heart Research Center between 89 and 1996 before starting his own venture he was working as a senior consultant cardiac surgeon at Manipal Heart Foundation between 1996 and 2000 in 2013 the name Narayana Hridayalaya was changed to Narayana Health to make the name represent all the treatment it offered instead of just treatment for heart ailment the inspiration to start narana health was mother teresa who wanted healthcare facilities available to everybody at affordable prices the narana health hospital group has around 21 hospitals spread across the country with over 6000 operational beds it provides treatment mainly under following specialties cardiac gastro science oncology renal science and neurosciences apart from owning hospitals it also operates various hospitals owned by other people 70% of its revenues is earned from own hospitals and around 30% from operated hospitals narana health hospitals are located in bangalore gurugram kolkata new delhi jaipur mumbai guwahati jammu amdavad mysore raipur dharwad shivamogga etc and Cayman Islands Narana Health is run by a professional MD and CEO Dr Emmanuel Rupert with Dr Shetty as chairman and his son Viren Shetty as vice chairman of board of directors Dr Varun Shetty is another son of Dr Devi Shetty who is a cardiac surgeon working in Narana Health and daughter Mrs Ameya Shetty who works in Narana Hridayalaya Foundation apart from running hospitals Narana Health has diagnostic services and pharmacies too. Narana Health approximate market cap is 24,585 crore and it's a mid cap stock. Dr. Devi Shetty has been awarded the Padma Shri in 2004 and Padma Bhushan in 2012 for his contribution to healthcare. Due to the low cost medical treatment provided by many hospitals in India including Narana Health patients from all over the world visit india for medical tourism now narana health ipo details launched as ipo in december 2015 and it was listed in january 2016 it raised 613 crores to the ipo ipo issue price rupees 250 per share ipo subsidized eight times closing price on listing day 337 that is plus 35% Narana Health yearly financials March 2014 total revenue 1095 crores net profit 29 crore March 2015 total revenue 1364 crores net profit minus 19 crores March 2016 total revenue 1614 crores net profit 21 crores March 2017 total revenue 1878 crores net profit 83 crores march 2018 total revenue 2281 crores net profit 51 crores now march 2019 total revenue 2861 crores net profit 59 crores 2020 march total revenue 3128 crores net profit 119 crores march 2021 total revenue 2583 crores net profit minus 14 crores march 2022 total revenue 3701 crores net profit 342 crores in the last year march 2023 total revenue whopping 4525 crores 
and net profit has gone to 607 crores, almost double of what it was earlier year. Narana Health sales and profit growth. Three years, sales growth 13%, net profit growth 67%. Five years, sales growth 15% per annum, net profit 63% per annum. Ten years, sales growth 18% per annum, net profit growth 49% per annum. Narana Health peer comparison. Apollo Hospitals market cap 86,492 crores. Navy News March 2023 16,612 crores and net profit 844 crores and P ratio 110. Max Healthcare market cap 71,232 crores. Revenue 4563 in the year March 2023. Net profit March 2023 1,104 crores. P ratio 67. Fortis Health market cap 28,677 crores. Revenue March 2023 6,298 crores. Net profit March 2023 633 crores. P ratio 54. Narana Health market cap 24,585 crores. Revenue March 2023 4,525 crores. Net profit March 2023 607 crores. And P ratio 32. Narana Health yearly closing rates. 2016 343, 2017 298, 2018 195, 2019 307, 2020 448, 2021 640, 2022 760, 2023 1202. Suppose an investor invested rupees 10,000 the beginning of every year in Narana Health shares. So in 2016 to 2024, that is 9 years, he would have bought a total of 239 shares. Today's approximate share price is 1,203 per share. Total investment 9 into 10,000, 90,000. Total value today 239 into 1,203 is equal to 2 lakh 87,570. Suppose an investor invested a one-time lump sum amount of rupees 10,000 in Narana Health Services returned since January 2016, 8 years, January 2016, rupees 10,000 at the rate of 291, March 2024, rupees 40,902 because current rate is 1,203. CAGR is 18.98% per annum. Narana Health returns for different periods. One year returns 58%, three year returns 44% per annum, five year returns 42% per annum. Shareholding pattern, promoters 63.85%, FIIs 11.51%, DIIs 10.23%, retail shareholders 14.41%. Now in front of you, Narana Health share graph 2016 to 2024, all time intraday high 1444, all time intraday low 183. Narana Health, so far the company has not issued bonus share and not done a stock split. Expansion plans Narana Health is planning to start new hospitals in Bengaluru and Kolkata, where it is already a well known brand. Narana Health has announced its plan to enter into health insurance space has applied for the license from the Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, that is IRDAI. It expects to receive the license sometime in 2024. Initially, the insurance business will focus on Bangalore and Mysore for one to three years. It believes the health insurance sector has a lot of scope for growth. It plans to add more than 700 more beds in the next three to four years. Also, Narana Health plans a substantial investment in upgrading and expanding its existing facilities over the next three to four years. However, recently the Supreme Court warned the central government that it will directly implement standardized rates for treatments as prescribed under central government health services rules around 10 years across the country. After the next court hearing, the government fails to come up with a concrete proposal for CGHS law implementation. Enforcement of CGHS based rate is important as per Supreme Court as the wide difference between treatment and service costs charged by private and government hospitals. For instance, angioplasty surgery in private hospitals located in metro cities 
ranges from 1.5 lakhs to 3.2 lakhs and the same treatment costs less than 1 lakh in government hospitals. However, private hospitals and associations have said that the Supreme Court suggestion that standard rates be established for various medical procedures should not be implemented without a proper analysis of costing, patient requirements and expertise of doctors. They argue that treatment procedures and hospitals are a service and should not be compared to a product for which a standard price can be fixed. Private hospitals also believe they provide superior quality treatment and services compared to government hospitals, hence the same rates cannot be enforced to private and government hospitals. They say that the doctor consultation fees will also vary based on their qualification and experience, hence cannot be standardized. Until the clinical establishment, Central Government Rules 2012, every hospital has to display the rates charged for each type of service provided as well as the facilities available. This has to be done in the local language as well as in English. Hospitals are allowed to charge patients for each procedure and service within the range fixed by the central government. But so far, the law has not been implemented. Due to this announcement by the Supreme Court, most hospital company shares have fallen by 10 to 15 percent. We will need to wait and see what decision the government and Supreme Court take on this rate standardization for medical facilities. This sector will be slightly dull until there is more clarity on this issue. However, in the long term, the top companies in the sector are likely to continue growing due to the trend of people wanting to take treatment in branded hospitals with high-tech facilities. Even though there is a lot of competition in the hospital sector, the overall market for branded hospitals will increase in the years to come. End of the video, here is the question. Do you think the services in government and private hospitals are comparable and of same quality? Yes or no? You may type. If you are not the member of Dr. Bharat Chandra Institute Karana channel, this is the time to subscribe, press the bell icon, send the video to all your friends, and if the video is good, press the like button. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. All the best.